Hello my friends, it's Brooms here, welcome back to the channel. And today I've got a big video for you with 31 tips on how to play the family in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. Now some of this might be quite basic and some of these maybe you haven't thought about, so I'm sure you will learn something from this. I would also love to hear what are your favorite tips when playing family in general and also perhaps with specific characters. We're gonna have some general tips and also we're gonna go down to specifics. So let's get started. Tip number one, lock door behind you. I still see some players leaving doors wide open or unlocked as they go through them. Don't be that guy. Use family instincts to locate where objectives are in the map such as valves, blood and fuse box. Not only that but you can see where your teammates are. You can also use family instinct when you think survivors are nearby as you'll be able to hear them. And you can also use family instinct to check if the fuse box has been open or not. So it's an easy way to patrol that without having to actually look at it. Use family members correctly. You have the killer role and the support role. Letterface and Johnny are definitely killers due to the high damage. Sissy, Hitchhiker and Cook all play more of a support role which can be crucial to getting a 4k. Use them accordingly. Communicate as much as possible and switch patrols of all main areas in a map. You definitely need to stay spread out. Two family members in the same place during patrols is a big mistake. Check scoreboard to potentially deduct what victims have already done. If the score is above 350, they've already left basement. If above 700, they might have done other doors or even collected valve or fuse. You can body block basement exit with a family member once it's open to prevent victims from escaping. Just beware, if Leland's coming through, he might just bump into you and then he'll be able to escape. When going to switch off the valve, have another family member covering for you to avoid an ambush. Remember that perk values do not stack. I made a mistake on one of my previous videos saying you could stack damage on other face, but actually that's not true. Only activated stacks with venom and serrated and rough cuts stack with each other, not alone. Also, grandpa perks do not stack, so do not go into a game with the same grandpa perks as some of your teammates. You can also choose to equip only one or two grandpa perks for the team. That will guarantee that the perks will mostly be active as it is easy to level up grandpa to two and keep him there. He will be less of a threat and a risk of being stabbed that way. Okay, let's go over some specific tips for the family members now, starting with Cook. As a level three Cook, pinpoint victims to your teammates. You will need to pick the top right level 3 ability for that. If you're not level 3 yet, then call out. But you might need to know maps quite well to know where victims are being highlighted. If you don't use mics, then you might have to rely on your team's awareness of where you're highlighting people for them. Padlock important doors such as gas station exit, boat facility doors in slaughterhouse, any family house, boat front doors and back garden door. Cook is the only family member that can see if their padlocks are still on by using the family in instinct ability. Other family members can't see padlocks. Never go down basement with Cook, unless it's strictly necessary. Cook should be calling the shots from ground level and pinpointing victims. Don't be afraid to hard camp an objective, especially if you're playing with Cook. You can easily padlock all doors needed and sit by fuse whilst the other family members are directed to victims you're spotting for them. Now some tips for Hitchhiker. He excels at chasing and is better than Sissy due to his higher damage and speed perks. Once you find a victim, stay on them. Place your traps near wall gaps or just off them in a bush, by main objectives or even crucial doors. High traffic places are definitely recommended. Remember, you can collect and place your traps somewhere else once victims know where your traps are located. Keep them guessing. For Sissy, when you find a victim hiding or occupied by an objective, blow poison into them before you attack. That will mark them for your team and slow them down. You can also mark victims by poisoning them just as they go through a narrow gap or jump over a pallet. She's less mobile than Hitchhiker, but she's very good at carrying blood and restricting area access by blowing her poison into some pots. So use her wisely. The thing about Johnny is that once an area that leads to an exit gets open, you can easily find the victim's tracks and find out if someone is there or not. However, be aware that Julie is the big counter for that with her ability to hide her tracks. You can also move faster while sprinting if you keep attacking and that's called a speed tech. But I think you need the perk Scout on, which is going to increase your speed by 15%. Use it to close the gap between you and the victims. Not sure if it's a bug or intended yet. So by the time you're watching this video, this might have been patched. Now let's talk about the big guy. As Leatherface, it is important to destroy pallets that are hindering family movements, such as on ground level at slaughterhouse or upstairs at family home. Destroy any crawl gaps to hinder victims' movement and 
and avoid looping. So in basement, try to clear out as many possible in the shortest time you can, and also as soon as you're out of basement, clear the ones around the main areas of the grounds. Letterface is terrible at blood harvesting, so it's good to have as little points in blood harvesting as possible on him. And then equip Violent Perk, which will give you more damage when your blood vial is 100% full. Violent is a random perk, so you can get it anywhere on his tree. Learn to keep revving your chainsaw near the max to prevent stalling, to have high speed and also to maximize damage in case you do encounter a victim. It takes practice. Choosing his level 2 middle ability is crucial to avoid the chainsaw stalling after doing rev attacks. And finally, whilst revving his chainsaw, you can very easily patrol all the locks due to the speed with which you will run. Add scout to your build and you'll be flying. And that's about it guys, I hope this was useful somehow, please do let me know what your favorite tips are and what people need to know about family. If you watched the video until now, please drop me a like, subscribe and consider joining the channel for more perks such as badges and shout outs at the end of the videos. So thank you so much for all the members of the channel, you guys are awesome. And in special thank you so much to Praise Jeebus for some of these tips here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time.